What is going on everybody? It's Ben Levy, aka Fiber Dance GK. Today, I'll be going in depth with my car, telling you guys everything that we did. For the people that don't know, this is a 2003 Honda S2000. And recently, my motor blew, it was pretty sad, it sucked, but we ended up building the motor. So my car was also at the shop for a good amount of time. So I wanna talk about what they did, little things here and there, cause it was a lot more than just the motor. The car just feels really, really different. So I wanna talk about all that stuff. I'm gonna do a POV style video as we go. So I'll be just driving and talking with you guys. But yeah, let's hop right in. Let's do a little walk around for the people that haven't been on my channel before. It's a little windy out here, but I hope you guys can still hear me. Here she is, wide body, Jay's Racing, front fender, C-West front bumper, save on carbon hood. We got the Cosmos Racing wheels, Willwood six piston brakes, carbon side skirt. We got some meats on here, 295s. This is one of my favorite things on the car. Save on carbon trunk that's like a duck bill as well absolutely sick now that we're actually driving i just wanted to say i upload weekly on youtube and i'll be making a lot of content with this car and other cars as well um racing drifting all that fun stuff car meets car shows so if you guys like that type of stuff make sure to hit that subscribe button like this video comment all right so i'll try talking pretty loud because this car is very very loud oh nice tie can but uh yeah i'll try talking loud so you guys can hear me break-in so I can't do full pulls and all that stuff just yet trust me I would have if I could Let's start off with the heart of the car which is obviously the motor I had the option to either get a stock motor or build a motor and uh, the prices was obviously a bit a difference but it seemed a lot more worth it to just go build motor and then this thing will be able to handle anything we throw at it especially in the future overall just to be more reliable and safer overall for everybody. I went with Inline Pro dry sleeve lock, AEBS sleeves, CP pistons, 11 to 1 compression. I'm pretty sure the stock compression is 11 to 1, so it's pretty high compression ratio, but I think we stayed with that. Carillo connecting rods, King Racing main bearings, King Racing rod bearings. The OEM crankshaft was balanced by blueprint. Rotating assembly balanced to within a gram, meaning it was dynamically met balanced with the whole rotating assembly, which is very important for vib vibration wear. So we did everything like by the book, as professional as you can to make sure everything is perfect. We didn't want any any like little mistakes or, or things here and there. And we have Skunk 2 Ultra Racing Intake Manifold, which looks so much better than the stock one. And should give me some more uh, mid-range power. We have Vera Valve Guides, Vera Valve Seals. We resurfaced the head as well. We had to get a throttle body spacer for the new uh, Skunk 2 manifold to the stock throttle body, but pretty sure I'll be getting an aftermarket throttle body very soon, so that'll be changed in a little bit. Also, every single seal and gasket on this car was replaced with OEM Honda parts, so a lot of Honda like OEM stuff on this thing. We did add PLM headers and we heat wrapped it, so that should be better. It shouldn't get as heat soaked, you know, overall make a little bit more power than my previous header which was skunk 2 apparently these headers actually do make a little more power also it kind of does sound a tiny bit different i noticed and um, i'm very happy with that we want to do a full three inch custom single exit exhaust right now i have the skunk 2 dual exit i do like the look of the dual exit because it's just really symmetrical and just looks uh very clean and professional but I think it's really badass with one big like single exit pipe that just can shoot huge flames so who knows maybe in the future we will add that and another thing we did that made a massive massive difference for the car was bushings energy bushings front upper and lower control arm bushings energy suspension rear upper and lower control arm bushings made such a big difference like I can't even tell you guys before when I would drive the car it would be really scary to really push this car especially at higher speeds because I'd feel it just swaying and, and and it'll be all over the place I had no confidence in the car especially with turning now this thing turns like like a track monster it's it's crazy how big of a difference and I still had BC coils before and I thought it would change a lot all it really did was just lower it and make it feel a little bit stiffer but the bushings made the biggest 
difference by far so I definitely recommend that for anybody that has an older car or an s2000 and we do you guys would like to have a better feeling in your car because it made a massive difference he didn't send me the alignment spec but but the alignment is so much better than before
because I, I probably look like such an idiot, but um, that's the best angles, you know. Also, guys, I'm learning along the way, like how everything works with the motor and like everything we're doing, you know. So, if I said anything weird or wrong, please don't hate on me in the comments. Just if you want to correct me, you definitely can, and I will. Uh, check out your comment obviously and reply back to you but um yeah so i'm not like a i don't know everything about everything you know so i'm learning along the way so if you guys want to learn with me or if you guys want to help me out tell me certain things you are more than welcome good to be back in this car like I miss the thing so much driving it just like this is is a dream it is so much fun and the looks that people give me the compliments it, it means the world to me um, today already just this morning like early in the morning I got like three or four people saying something um, so it's just such a cool feeling I'm so blessed and fortunate you know to have this opportunity and I can't wait to just share it with the world you know with you guys and um, I'll be filming as much as I can, you know, because I really do enjoy this more than anything. Over 90% of you guys are not subscribed to my channel. A lot of you guys just watch, check it out, and leave. But why, why just watch and leave, guys? There's going to be so much more content on this thing. So please subscribe to the channel. I promise you won't regret it. And, um, yeah, make sure to leave a like and a comment as well. So yeah, my friend, that will conclude today's video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a little bit driving and obviously explaining everything that we did. As I said before, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.